Michelle, a science educator for VIN School Programs. Thanks for joining me today for an at-home learning investigation called What Do Seeds Need to Grow? Soon enough, we're going to see warmer weather all the time and lots of plants growing outside. Seeds that will have waited all winter long to grow. But for now, we're going to learn about how we can do an experiment and investigate at home to see what seeds will need to grow. Does anybody know what seeds need to grow? You can try this investigation at home and I'm going to show you the materials that you'll need. So I have four jars and I have also labeled each jar. So this one says number one, number two, number three, and number four. Inside of each jar is some soil. If you don't have any soil at home, you could also use some paper towels. That will work too. I'm also using some peas for my seeds that I'm going to grow. If you don't have any seeds like this at home, you can use a dried bean or even a sunflower seed to try your experiment. Any seed will do. To make your experiment work faster, you can soak your seeds in a little bit of water overnight and then do your experiment the next morning. So that way, the seeds will grow a little bit faster. So you can try that. Other materials you'll need are some markers or a pencil or anything you have at home to write with. I use tape to label my jars with a little paper, but you could use a sticky note or you could write on your jar if you'd like to do that too. And I also have some water. So to do your experiment, once you have your soil in each of your jars, about the same amount, we're going to also figure out what we're going to be doing with our jars. Since we have four of them, each of them will be a little bit different. Jar number one will be put in the dark, but we will give it water. So inside of my jar, I have placed my seeds. I put one on each side of my jar. And since this jar, number one, gets water, I'll pour just a little bit of water in my jar. So the soil is moist, but the seeds aren't floating in water. We don't want them to drown in water. Every day, you can check to see if the soil is still moist by touching it. If it doesn't feel a little bit wet, a little bit damp, you can add a little bit more water, but just make sure you don't add too much. Jar number two is going to be put in a dark spot as well, but it will not get any water at all. So we're not going to put any water in jar two. Jar number three is going to get sunlight. So it's going to be put in a spot where it gets light and it will also get water. So let's put the water in jar number three. Just like we did for jar number one. Not too much. Just a little bit so that way our seeds stay nice and moist but they don't drown. Just a little bit. And you can check this one too just every day. Touch the top. See if there's any, uh, see if it needs a little extra water. All right. And then 
then jar number four, this one will get sun, it'll get light, but no water. Okay, so once you have your four jars and they're ready to go, you'll put these in a perfect spot. Since we're testing to find out what seeds need to grow, we'll be able to find out what, what seeds grow the best. So the ones that are for the dark, I think a perfect spot for my seeds would be to put them in the cabinet under the kitchen sink. I know they're not going to get bumped, no one's going to, you know, knock them over, and they're not going to spill, and it'll be very dark in there. So those two, I'm going to put in the dark cabinet under the sink. My jars number three and four, those need sun. So I'm going to put them on a windowsill that's nice and sunny in my house. I can't put them outside. It's or too cold, we'll put them inside in a sunny window. Just make sure when you find a, a perfect spot for it, it's in a spot that won't get knocked over because we don't want to, um, you know, break anything and we also don't want it to get in the way. So just be careful where you put it. Make sure you ask your parents where you should put that, that jar. All right. So friend, I think you have a really cool investigation that you can try and once you figure out your results, you can post them here on our Facebook page and share them out so we can find out what do seeds need to grow. We're looking forward to seeing you and seeing your results. So thanks for tuning in today, and we'll see you next time. Bye!